In this video, I want to show you how to find the particular short code or item that you're looking for. Now, the most popular way to add short codes using Short Codes Ultimate is through either posts or pages. So let's click on Add New under Posts. Now you see the regular Add Post screen, title, content, categories, how you publish it. But now above the WYSIWYG editor, there's a new box, Insert Short Codes. And when I click on it, I see a light box with all the choices here. It's kind of overwhelming and it's in no particular order. So you really just have to search for what you're looking for. It's not even in alphabetical order. I think it should be in alphabetical order, but I didn't develop it and I'm not going to question it. But there are two tools here, two ways to narrow down the list. You can either enter a keyword or you can go through filters. First, we're going to go through filters. If you click on the filter, what happens is it shows you only the short codes that pertain to that particular filter and it grays out the rest. So for content, I click on it, I see only the items that are for content. Everything else gets grayed out. It makes it very easy to see what you're looking for. If I click on box, I see items for tabs, pull quotes, expand, accordions. It's really cool. I, I use boxes a lot on webdesignermall.com, which is what this website is. Okay, now we click on media. And of course, you see videos for YouTube. You see Vimeo, really cool stuff, even Google Maps. Gallery, as you would probably guess, is for photos and light boxes, sliders, and carousels, which come with a lot of themes. But in case your theme doesn't have these items, you can use them, or you can add them with Short Codes Ultimate. Data is really just for posts and metadata and user data. It's really just metadata. And other. I suppose others just what we're really these items that couldn't be classified anywhere else, but I think some of these could. Like I think tooltips could be under content, subpages could be under data, or maybe content as well. So it really, I guess it just depends on what your particular opinion on is where these others should fit into, or if they just fit on, under others. Now let's click on all to see the whole thing. If I want to see just the YouTube ones, I can type in a keyword for YouTube and I get just the YouTube which is really cool I like that so let's get rid of that and maybe there's one you might like maybe you want to find a really cool short code for menus let's type in menu and there's only one left and as I backspace I might see some others that come in which is really cool if I want to see something that has to do with images so I can say image dummy image I could put images into sliders, carousels, and galleries, and of course frames. So there is a lot of great, there's a big big collection here in how to use Short Codes Ultimate. And I just showed you how to find what you want. But now, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the options. Because if I click on an option for slider, I get different options here. Some of them are a little more complex than others. So this one, particularly for the slider, has a lot of options, which is really good, I guess, right? But if you want to click on all short codes, and maybe you just want to do YouTube, YouTube is a little more simple or simpler. You really just put the URL, you pick the width and height, and then the rest of these can be whatever you want. If your theme is responsive, you know, you can just fill these in. And I'm going to show you how to really go through these. So join me in the next video. Thanks for watching.